Google has launched Gemini 2.0, pushing AI to new heights with smarter tools that don't just inform, but actively help you get things done. At its core, Gemini 2.0 is built for what Google calls the agentic era. This update brings major advancements like generating images and audio natively, solving complex problems, and even taking real-world actions with better reasoning and planning. So, Let's break down what makes it so powerful. All right, so Gemini's journey started with 1.0, which was the first AI model to be truly multimodal. It could understand text, video, images, audio, and even code in ways that had never been possible before. That was the starting point for building something bigger, and over the past year, Google has refined that vision. With 1.5, developers got faster, more efficient tools, but it was clear there was more potential. Now, Gemini 2.0 builds on everything that came before, adding new capabilities and pushing boundaries in every direction. Gemini 2.0's first model, Flash, is an experimental version that developers are already working with. It's faster and more powerful than the 1.5 Pro model, which was already impressive. The numbers back it up. Gemini 2.0 scored 90 to 2.9% on the Natural 2 code benchmark for code generation, significantly higher than 1.5 Pro's 85.4%. And it's not just about numbers. It processes tasks at twice the speed while maintaining accuracy, making it a true workhorse for developers. One of the standout features is its multimodal capability. And while earlier versions could handle multimodal input, like processing images and videos, 2.0 goes further by generating multimodal outputs. This means it can now create things like images, multilingual text to speech audio, and even visuals combined with text. So when describing a scenario, the AI generates everything you need from visuals to the script. It's now available to developers via the Gemini API on Google AI Studio and Vertex AI, where they can experiment with this advanced functionality. For everyday users, Gemini 2.0 is integrated into Google's ecosystem in several ways. In search, its advanced reasoning capabilities are being used to make AI overviews even more effective. These overviews, which now reach over a billion people, are designed to tackle more complex topics, such as advanced math problems or multimodal queries. They're also being tested with coding tasks and deeper reasoning challenges. Early access users have already started seeing how this makes search feel smarter, more intuitive, and capable of handling the kinds of queries that would stump earlier models. This feature is expected to roll out more broadly early next year. For more advanced tasks, there's something called deep research. This tool acts as a personal research assistant, using Gemini's long context understanding and advanced reasoning to compile detailed reports on complex subjects. It's already available for users of Gemini Advanced, making it a powerful resource for tackling difficult or time-consuming research tasks. The upgrades don't stop there. Developers building interactive and dynamic applications now have access to the Multimodal Live API. This new tool allows real-time input from audio and video, combined with seamless integration of multiple tools. It opens up possibilities for applications that feel truly interactive and personalized whether it's in entertainment, education, or business. But Gemini 2.0 isn't just a software update. It's also powered by cutting-edge hardware. Google's Trillium, a sixth-generation TPU, played a huge role in training and inference for the new model. These TPUs are now available to customers, enabling them to harness the same power that built Gemini 2.0. This kind of hardware support underpins Gemini's ability to deliver faster processing and improved performance, ensuring it's ready for the most demanding tasks. One of the most exciting areas of development is Google's work on agentic AI prototypes. These are essentially advanced AI agents that go beyond responding to queries. They act, plan, and execute tasks. Google is testing this in several experimental projects. Project Astra, for example, is designed to function as a universal assistant. It now supports tools like Google Search, Lens, and Maps, and has improved its multilingual abilities. It remembers up to 10 minutes of conversation, keeping interactions more personalized and contextually relevant. Trusted testers have been trying it out on Android phones, and the feedback is helping refine its capabilities. Google is even testing Astra on prototype smart glasses, exploring how this technology could become part of everyday life. Another project, Mariner, focuses on making AI useful within a browser. By understanding everything on a browser screen, texts, code, images, and forms, Mariner can help users complete tasks more efficiently. For instance, it can process a web page, reason through its elements, and assist with actions like form filling or navigating complex websites. It's being tested through an experimental Chrome extension, 
with early evaluations showing promising results, including an 83.5% success rate on a benchmark designed to test web-based task completion. While it's still early, these capabilities hint at what's possible when AI becomes a true partner in navigating the web. For developers, there's Jules, an AI-powered coding agent that integrates directly into GitHub workflows. Jules doesn't just suggest solutions, it analyzes issues, develops plans, and executes them under the developer's supervision. This kind of AI support could dramatically speed up software development, especially for complex coding projects. Gemini 2.0 is also stepping into the world of gaming. By collaborating with developers like Supercell, Google is training AI agents to understand and interact with video games in real time. These agents can analyze what's happening on screen, provide strategic advice, and even pull data from the web to enhance their recommendations. In games like Clash of Clans and Heyday, they've shown they can offer team-building suggestions based on available resources. This approach is still being refined, but it's easy to see how gaming could become more immersive and interactive with AI assistance. Beyond gaming, Gemini 2.0's potential extends to robotics and physical world applications. Using its advanced spatial reasoning capabilities, Google is exploring how AI can assist in navigating and interacting with real environments. This research is in its early stages, but the implications are significant, particularly for industries like manufacturing, healthcare, and logistics. Safety and responsibility are central to Google's approach with Gemini 2.0. Every step of development includes extensive testing and risk assessments. The Responsibility and Safety Committee has been involved in identifying potential issues and ensuring the technology remains reliable and ethical. For example, Project Mariner has safeguards to prevent unauthorized actions, such as requiring user confirmation for sensitive tasks. Similarly, Project Astra includes privacy controls that allow users to manage what the AI remembers and delete interactions if needed. Gemini 2.0's safety measures also extend to preventing misuse. For instance, AI has been trained to recognize and avoid malicious instructions hidden in emails, documents, or websites. This protects users from phishing attempts and other potential threats, ensuring the technology remains a trusted tool. In the broader AI landscape, Gemini 2.0 faces competition from other heavyweights like OpenAI's GPT-40, Microsoft's Copilot, and Anthropic's Claude. Each of these models has its strengths, whether it's GPT-4's advanced reasoning, Copilot's productivity features, or Claude's emphasis on ethical interactions. Gemini 2.0's edge lies in its multimodal capabilities and seamless integration into Google's ecosystem. However, internal reports suggest that it still has work to do in terms of brand awareness and user adoption compared to its competitors. Gemini 2.0 takes AI to a level that feels practical and innovative. Its advanced reasoning, multimodal tools, and real-world applications are reshaping how AI fits into research, gaming, and everyday tasks. With more features and integrations planned, it's paving the way for smarter, more seamless technology that works alongside us in ways that feel natural and impactful. All right, let me know what you think in the comments, and if you enjoyed this, make sure to like and subscribe for more AI updates. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.